Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm here with Sue today and we're going to be showing you some footage from our trail camps. Yeah, thanks Sue for joining me and for sharing this footage. So yeah, let's talk about it. You've had it for three months since March, around that time? I think, yeah, since February or March. Um, I've been putting it out in a few different locations to see what comes out and lives um, in bushes and yeah, it's been it's been interesting to see what comes out, especially at night. This one's yours. You paid about forty five pounds for it. That's right. So it doesn't and matter it was... if something happens to it, and it was still fun watching the footage. Maybe it doesn't have a lot of settings like higher end <clears throat> ones, or maybe the quality of the footage isn't that great. But it was still fun looking yeah. through all of the footage. It is fun, isn't it? Like that's one of the big challenges, isn't it? Finding a good position that yeah. isn't blocked by leaves and you have to kind of angle it so that you're actually going to see something in the shot. Yeah, and it also helps if you place it somewhere where you expect animals to come out, if it's in your garden or if it's maybe you've spotted some holes in the ground that you wonder what lives in there. Um, and then it, just place it in a tree nearby and just see what happens. So let's have have a look at some of the more typical footage that we get every day. It would get uh, triggered by birds often, some random birds flying in and out of the shot, a lot of pigeons, a lot of other small birds triggering it, which is good. I mean, it shows the trail cam is working, but maybe that's not exactly what you're looking for. We well, often like, see mice and rats at night. Yeah, and it's it's cool the first few times you see them, but after you've had like 20 videos of the same mouse just hopping around, it does get a bit old, but that's generally a sign that you need to try a new area if you're just not not, get, not getting anything. Oh yeah, foxes. A lot of foxes come by. A lot of different ones. You start to uh, get to know them a little bit. Oh yeah, and this pigeon. Uh, seriously, after about twenty videos, this pigeon finally decided he found the right twig, a massive branch. And um, what about the first time we saw, like, actual legit badgers? Yeah, very cute, very exciting. Well, I expected them after I found uh, a hole in the ground, but then it was in an urban area where I generally didn't think there were badgers. Once we found a good badger spot, we started to see some interesting behaviour, didn't we, Sue? Yes. So badgers are very clean animals, and they like to change the bedding essentially like they pull dry leaves into their sets and we were kind of amazed when we first saw it and it just looks so ungraceful just what basically do you mean ungraceful <laughs> they're like that's the badger mom i said i think she's doing a great job yeah she's essentially like cuddling a ball, massive ball of leaves and just like hopping backwards she's working very hard yeah Considering the time of year, yeah, it wasn't too surprising. If sometimes there's a small tree put out a few peanuts, not very much, just like very occasionally. And at first the badger was not very sure about it. Is it probably smelled a bit different, a bit unusual and didn't know what to do, but apparently badgers love them. So it was nice to see the reaction. Yeah, a little hesitant, but like you said, it's one of their favorite foods, along with worms. And then the next time they were not so shy. Yeah. So if you're going to feed wild animals, I guess the general rule of thumb is make sure you're feeding them. If you're going to feed them, make sure you're feeding them something that they can actually eat and that's good for them. And then just don't do it too often because you don't want them to rely on humans for food. You also don't want to feed other animals like rats and attract rodents yeah. to the food. Um, yeah, so we just wanted to show a few more of the videos that just show them doing funny stuff, basically. So it was pretty funny the first time we saw them scratching themselves. And by the way, that big blur on the side of the screen is from the badges, like licking the camera or like s smooching it with their nose they and tend to do that a lot 
they sometimes have very dirty noses after digging a lot yeah. all night in the in the dark. Yeah, especially when it's wet. But yeah, this badger has no shame. And there's number two. <laughs> So we think this is the mum and dad badge. The uh, females are called sows and the dominant males are called boars. Yeah. I think like similar to pigs, like pigs. And then the little ones came out. Yep. And at first, when we first saw this, we actually were just like, oh cool, it's the badges. Then we were like, wait a Why second. Why are they so small? <laughs> Yeah. And then there's the mum. You can clearly see it's the mother. Yep. In you fact, I think it wasn't until we saw the mum coming onto the screen that we suddenly realised, like, wait a second, those are cubs? Amazing. And they love playing. <laughs> yeah, they love playing. And they looked so spiky because it had rained that night. And there's no one following the parents. Yeah, so I think at first one of the cubs was a bit shy and it was staying more with the parents, but then the other two were just constantly playing. And before long they were all playing. <laughs> yeah, they get up to some mischief, don't they? And they love running in circles. Yep. They're basically like puppies without the barking, without the yapping. And, oh yeah, they carry sticks around <laughs> in their mouths, which is pretty funny. I don't even know what he's doing. He just puts it in front of the camera like, here you go. It's a present. Oh, and people don't put your rubbish out because apparently the badgers like to take it. Yeah. Yep, please don't listen. And one of the bad things about putting your trail cam out near badgers is they like to play with the trail cam and they like to push it and move it around, don't they? So we've had situations where the trail cam will just be pushed off to the side by the badgers and then record the bushes all night instead of the action. Oh yeah, so the mum is kind of showing the little ones where the peanuts are. That was pretty cool. Should people buy a trail cam? Like, are you happy you bought it? Oh yes, yeah. very happy. I've never seen badgers before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen loads of crazy behaviour. Like, we know so I've, much about them now. I've never seen such a behaviour where the badgers carry back leaves to their set. Yep. And that just didn't happen once. It happened every couple of weeks or so. They mm. they did that. I bet most people have never seen a badger. Like, they just come yeah. out at night. Even if you live in a town, you never know what's coming into your garden at night. We live in the town centre and even we had a badger visiting our garden, which was, I think, the, one of the biggest surprises to us. We also had a hedgehog once, although we didn't get very good footage of it. Um, but you never know. If you want to film badgers specifically, I guess look for their sets in winter. You can't really find them in the summer, can you? It's There's just too much grass. Yeah. I think badgers, um, the sets, I, I have found about three or four sets now, and most of them are near bushes and brambles because apparently badgers also like to eat berries um, and in summer it's just getting too overgrown to find them unless you know already that they are there so it's easier to find the badger set in winter uh, when you can access some woods or some how do you say bushes more easily yeah and you can also just actually see things that you can't see in the summer like Right now, it's hard to even get to the place where we've got our trail cam set up. We have to fight through nettles. Hmm. So, okay, so maybe we'll save one last clip for the end, because Sue's really happy that this 
young fox, like must be from this year. It's a fox cup. Yeah. Yeah. But it's kind of bigger and it's pretty cute, isn't it? And it keeps going past every, well, we've seen it maybe in the last week, maybe a few times. Yeah. And you named it Socks. <laughs> Could also be called boots. It has black socks. Yeah. Let's not put that in. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I've named a fox socks. Oh, we need to write socks instead of fat fox. Oh, like S O X. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Socks. Okay, that's his name. Socks. Yeah. Socks the fox. Socks the fox. <laughs> All right. Leave a comment, leave a like, let us know if you like this kind of content with the trial cam footage and us just talking about it, because we do have a bit more. And um, we might make some more videos if we get a positive response from this one. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the footage. Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you in the next video.